Greetings, viewers, and welcome to another episode of The Collection Crib. I am your host, Tyler Cloud. Today, we're going to be unboxing the 2023 Taku and Takua Bionicle set. Hey, if the demand is there and the fans want it, Lego or any other company will bring that product back, and this is the prime example. Lego pushed Bionicle to the moon. These guys pretty much saved Lego from bankruptcy. I mean, I know I said Star Wars, but Star Wars was just kind of a temporary thing until they were able to really strategize and come up with their new idea, and that was Bionicle. But yeah, this is the reboot series, and this is the only one that they released so far. Uh, I know they did like a 90 anniversary uh, tiny one, but I'm not worried about that. This is the true comeback of Bionicle. I mean, look at the box. It just looks genuine. I mean, sure, it's not a container like the original Bionicle was, but, I mean, you could definitely tell a lot of love went into this. I mean, just look at this. Tahu is not the Technic uh, version, which you see, of course, from the original. Uh, look at that. It's just full-blown Legos. So we are going to open up the box, and we're going to check out the new Tahu and Takua figures. And of course, here's Takua right here. This is him when he was with uh, Puku. And then, of course, I have Jawler here, but I'm going to use Jawler as an example because of the size of the body and his shoes. Or I guess his feet are yellow, so I'm just going to take off uh, Takua's blue mask and put it on Jawler's body just to kind of show that comparison. But yeah, I am so excited about this Lego uh, numbers. 40581. I am so excited, but this is just this is just such a nice box. Like, I don't know if I want to open it, but I have to if I want to put this thing together. So I have to. Let's not waste any more time. So I'm just gonna open up that way. There we go. Sorry, box. Pull out the instruction manual. Nothing else in the box. Just gonna put it in the background. All right. Wish they kinda made this a little more detailed, but a white background with the Lego figures. Okay, oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. That is awesome. Maybe I spoke too soon. Yeah, look at that. In 2001, the LEGO Group introduced a new theme that would become a global sensation, LEGO Bionicle. This story of mighty heroes with elemental powers took the world by storm and inspired comics, novels, and four movies. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but you get the idea. Bionicle was huge. Times are dark and evil rules. Strange canisters drift ashore on the island of Mata Nui. Six legendary heroes have arrived. These mighty Tua must discover the masks of power, defeat evil, and free the island. Six heroes, one destiny. Live the legend. Ah, nostalgia all around. So here are the pieces. Actually, I'm going to bring the camera down just a bit. There you go. So yeah, there are 219 pieces. This won't take too long, but as you can tell, there is no Tekken pieces except, I think, for one. And we shall find that piece as we uh, put this thing together. But ladies and gentlemen, of course, without further ado, you all know what's coming. Let us put together the revival of Tahu and Takua for the 2023 Bionicle set. Let's do it.
All right, viewers, the 2023 Bionicle, Tahu, and Takua set is done. I figure I'd do a little quick comparison here just to show you all how different Bionicle has changed throughout the many years. Goodness, over 20 years. But of course, let us show the complete Tahu of 2023. Look at this thing. No Tekken pieces except for the uh, black ball. But uh, look at him surfing on the uh, the lava. Surfing USA, right on the lava. <laughs> really, really cool. I mean, just the fact that they were able to make something that was iconic and playable as this. And they turned it into this. is just amazing. Oops. Excuse me, Tom. But yeah, and the fact that it can move its torso, you know, and get into that pose of its surfing that the original couldn't do is also kind of cool. And of course, we've got Takua, who would be the future Mask of Light warrior. He's got the book bag that would hold the Mask of Light. He's got his little disc. Do a little, oops, do a little comparison. There we go. So yeah, the original is a lot bigger. And of course, it's only like, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. While this one is, of course, multiple uh, little Lego pieces, but... It was fun to actually uh, put together because, I mean, sure, this takes like two seconds and it's like boring. But this, I just felt a real accomplishment of putting him together. Takua was the new character from the movie. So it was just like a flashback of like, you know, 20 years ago when the first movie came out. That's, that's still crazy. <laughs> I remember when the first movie came out, it's like, it doesn't look like the Legos, but I'll still watch it. <laughs> but... Great memories. I love the Mask of Light movie. Go watch it if you haven't seen it. Um, but other than that, as far as a figure to display, Tahu is amazing. Actually, let me uh, let me take uh, Takua here. I'm going to uh, put his legs down, put his arm down, and his right arm up. And I'm going to attach him to Tahu. Or at least, hopefully I can. <laughs> To make him look like a, like he's holding on to him while like he's surfing. There we go. Takua's hanging on to Tahu. A lot of T uh, character names in the show. <laughs> so, Chronicler, sightseeing, were you? Ah, oh, Tahu, Chronicler, sightseeing, were you? Oops. Yeah, I'll, I'll let. Takua, come down now. <laughs> this is an amazing set. I hope they make more. My first Bionicle set, of course, was the Toas. And the next time I do a Bionicle episode, I'm going to bring in the original Toas. This is just a little uh, taste of the future Bionicle episodes to come. And, uh, oh, I almost forgot. This little thing came with the whole set. This is the Matanui and Makuta Stone. I guess these were the ones that landed on the on the whole island or whatever, and that's when everything began. It's a little strange, but hardcore uh, Bionicle fans will know what this is. Me, I'm just like, eh, four little pile of Legos and an egg. <laughs> but still kind of neat little uh, thing that they added. But yeah, this Bionicle set was great. I, I bought this online for a little over 50 bucks because you can get this for free. But only if you spend over $100 on Lego. So I was just like, you know, forget that. I just want the figure, man. I don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on a Lego set just yet. So, you know, for $50, it wasn't too bad. And since this was the first Bionicle set to be released since um, 2017, like, this was terrific. It was just great to see Bionicle back. And if they don't, if they don't make any more, then... You know, at least it's good to know that the Bionicle fans were treated to at least one more great Bionicle. And if it had to be anybody, I'm glad it was Tahu. Awesome. But yes, Lego, please continue to make more. And of course, like I said, there will be more Bionicle episodes to come. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Tyler Cloud. Please like and subscribe. This has been an amazing achievement for me. 30 episodes... 
and it's only going to get better and better. Here's to the next 30 and 30 more and 30 more and 30 more after that. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this episode and I will see you all next time. Thank <laughs> you.